Okay, so my neighbor brought this over to me, asked me if I'd be interested in fixing it up for his uh, mother-in-law. It's a sign thing, okay? This this was the original sign, the Rickards. I don't know how that person carved that in there or whatever, but yeah, okay. So that was originally on there, and then there was a piece on the back too. So this video will show how we're going to uh, make this sign thing better okay so like i was saying this would this is the front side right there was also another piece on the back that i took off it was just braid nail it in but th i printed this out on the computer okay that will be there so i'll uh carve out those letters with my dremel tool thing it's discontinued i forget the name of it but um i printed these letters off on the computer i'm not really keen on making signs but whatever, I use this glue, just carve Rob suggested. This Elmer's, that's like a glue stick thing, right? Okay, so I'll go upstairs and uh, once this glue dries and carve out those letters. Okay, so here we are the next day. Um, this is all dry, everything's set. So I just want to make a quick suggestion. Just if you guys got your computer and you're okay at the computer printing stuff, just do a thin line letter because it's easier to follow the lines of just one thin line not a solid number trust me uh pete actually advised me of that once um so but i didn't do a thin line so i'm a hypocrite um because i'm not very good at computers so i'm gonna router this out i got this when i just ordered this when uh this when kit from amazon i think it was 50 bucks canadian I think Wen has two different models of the rotary tools, okay? I think this one has more amps than the other one. I know it goes up to 35,000 RPMs, okay? So this is the orange one. Where's those bits? Yeah. These things, guys, most of these things are just freaking junk. This is why I make the YouTube channel to show you not to waste your money on buying kits like this. They're just crap. Anyways... So, I got a router, guys, but I'm, I'm going to use this as a router, okay? You guys, if you guys buy Dremel packs, like the Dremel 4000 or whatever, this is also a Dremel attachment. And I'm going to use this as the Dremel, put on the Dremel. And this is a wall for wall tile cutting or whatever, but I'm going to use it as a router to show you guys that you can make signs, simple, simple address signs. Here's a shout out for you, Mario. Tata, you can make simple address signs or any kind of signs you want just with a cheap rotary tool and um, one of these wall power it screws on there and then I use uh, my uh, roto, friggin where's the burr now, I use one of these roto bits, it's a wall tile cutter bit, okay, Dremel also makes these but the roto, uh, roto zip bits you can find by the Dremels, this is one eighth so I'm going to put this all together and I'll be back. I'm also going to be carving a wood spirit on one of the posts for the sign. And I'm going to use this when with the, I'm not going to use the, this package did come with the flex shaft. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself here. This package did come with the flex shaft. Okay, here it is. Junk. But if you can't, I'm going to see if the Dremel flex shaft will hook up to it. And I'll try that right away before I do anything. Okay. But if you can't afford to buy the Dremel flex shaft right now, just use the one that came with it until you can upgrade and buy the Dremel flex shaft. But let's see if this fits first on this. We'll try that out right away. Okay, guys. So you got the 1 8 call inside here. Here's my roto zip bit. You guys can use any type of burrs you have. Whatever you want to try, like something like this. It's flat between my fingers, the wood, and it will cut. Different strokes, different folks, okay? So you put this burr in all the way, pull it out just a little bit. Lock it up, tighten her up, okay? So here is your wall tile cutter bit attachment, they call it. So you just screw this on. Yeah, there it's stripping already, just crap. So here's your thing. So then you go like this with your hand. I'm gonna do it so you can see. But you don't want to make it too deep, your cut, right? But you don't want to make it too shallow. So there we go. 
the Dremel has a measure like little numbers on here, but I don't care. I just do it like this. So that's how deep I'm going to cut. And I suggest you sand the board really good first because when this is cut out, I'm going to spray paint it. Let's go spray paint and I can sand all this crap off at the outside edge and all the inside of the letters will be black. Okay, so that's what we got. So let's get, I'm not going to be able to film too well using this piece, okay? But when you guys use this, do that, do this up really tight too because you don't want your adjustment level to go up and down. You don't want it to go deeper and shallow. But when you use this, use it, I suggest use it at full throttle, get a really good grip, you know, like hold on to it really good. Hold on to it really good and make sure this sits flat on the wood. So full throttle, good grip, and just let the tool do the work. Slow, steady wins the race when you're doing this with this tool. Like I said, guys, this is for beginners that want to learn how to do a, a sign. Use this a few times. Then you can upgrade. If you like it and you enjoy it, then you can upgrade to a, a, ro a rotary. Um, goddamn freaking. Goddamn. I forget the name of the thing. Okay, so. Anyways. Fuck it here. Pardon my language. One of these things, okay? Damn it. A router. That's the name you can upgrade to a router. The compressed rotors are wicked. Damn. It. So when I'm using this, I'm gonna go on the inside of the lines. So you got two areas you can look through. I'm gonna be going, see how it's hard to see on that black, but if it was just a single line, not solid. It'd be a lot easier to follow a line, but I'm going to go on the inside of the line on this, okay? So I'm going to try and use it with one hand and film because I don't have my tripod here. And, well, I, it's going to be an overhead filming thing. But you guys get it, right? Turn it on full blast and just let the tool do the work. Okay there guys you can see I got that done. So it's good, it's really good to have a bright light shining inside this hole so you can see. You know I got this light here. I can move it around anywhere I want. It's really good to have a light on your art table so you can see lighting's very important so you can move it around. Okay so I'm going to finish the rest of this off and then I'll be back. Okay so there you go I've got it all routed out. Just goes to show you guys, you guys can do it with that little tiny attachment. That's how I learned. Actually, well, actually, guys, these bigger letters, I can't buy. I use this. <laughs> it's a compressed uh, router. And you guys can buy these. I suggest you get one of these flat uh, plexiglass things. You can buy these online. But Pete uh, made this one for me. Thanks, Pete. It makes it a lot more stable. And you can really... You guys, when you're doing the letters, your pri keep your eye on the prize, and your prize is the outside of that line, okay? Of that black line. So, you know, like I suggest, if you're really, really beginning wood carving or wood, wood anything, tr and you got a rotary tool, try it with this. Use this for a couple sides till you get the hang of it. You can use any burrs you want in there. But then if you if you decide if you like making signs, then upgrade to one of these because this is freaking like floating in the clouds compared to using this. This is like driving down the bumpiest gravelous road with potholes and shit in it. Then this is just like skiing in nice deep fresh powdered snow. Sure is. Okay, so now I'm going to sand all this white bullshit off, uh, paper off. Sorry for my language, guys. I'm gonna sand all this white paper off with my Orbit sander. Then I'm gonna spray paint it black. I'm gonna let the paint dry. Then I'm gonna sand it again with my Orbital painter. With my Orbital sander.
Okay, so now when I'm waiting for the paint to dry on that sign, before I sand the outer part off, I got this uh, Dremel flex shaft hooked up to this wen, right? Dremel and I got a cut sole burr. If you guys want to get the cut sole burrs, guys, follow the link below. Use the code CFUSE to save yourself 5%. They're sold out of these flame burrs right now, but they make the taper burrs extreme, and those are still pretty stellar too, and I use that often. So I just made a video showing how to attach the Dremel flex shaft to the wen, okay? So I got these the two posts. I'm going to carve a wood spirit on it. So this is about peep. This is a two by four, okay? See how long I, I don't know. It's like three feet or something. But I'm just going to carve a wood spirit on each post. But lots of people that I see carving the posts will carve on this, like a two by four. Will carve the for the beginning carvers will carve a wood spirit right here. Well, that's a flat face, guys. That's your hardest. Hardest surface to carve a wood. I think this is shitty spruce wood. That's your hardest surface to carve a wood spirit is a flat face. So I really, really, really suggest you carve it on edge. Make the nose on edge. On this edge. Okay? It's a 45 or whatever degrees it is. And because it's a lot less carving, and we'll make this guy's beard kind of come around here. Okay, it's a lot less carving when you make it on edge than a flat face, guys, on a 2x4. Some of you guys don't have lots of access to free wood like I do, so you have to get little pieces of 2x4, and I see you guys are carving the faces on the flat face. You can do it, but it's a hell of a lot more deep carving than to carve it on edge. Okay, so I'm going to start carving with this. You guys, and another thing too, when you're very beginning at carving, it helps to have a foot pedal to do your speed control. Just turn this on max and then do the speed control with your foot pedal. I'm telling you, it will give you a lot more control with your hand piece because you can control the speed with your foot pedal. It's not just on, you turn it on, it's not just on max and it jumps around. You can slow it down with your foot pedal, okay? So I'm going to start carving this. You guys, if you want to learn how to carve a wood spirit, just I, go on my playlist. You'll see tutorials how to carve a wood spirit. There's like four video series, right? Step by step. I do one every year to, for my uh, upgraded spirits. Okay. I'm not going to film carving too much of this wood spirit, but I just want to show you. I'm going to cut here quickly, and I'm going to cut this, this nose and then feather the mustache off. Show you how fast you can get your nose to stick out when you're carving on edge compared to a flat surface. Okay, that was real time carving. Look how fast I did that. Look how far that nose sticks off, okay? That's why it's so, it's for the beginning wood carvers, the very beginners, it's very good to start on a surface like this kind of degrees or a round stick or something. Don't practice on flat surfaces. Once you get more used to the hand piece of carving deeper, then you can start practicing on flat surfaces. And it's just my opinion, guys. Everything's my opinion. That's, that's about it. Okay, look how far it sticks off. I'll finish carving this and then I'll be back. Okay, so here's the first one did. Spruce wood, very soft wood, guys. It's I think it's a kind of form of cedar too. But you see I, I sanded it. 
So I'll just leave that aside and for now and I'll carve the next one, right? So there'll be one on each side of the post. Just quick carvings, guys. For me, anyways, this one. So I'll do this one next. Okay, so I got both the faces carved on. Let's see, this one. Yeah, whatever, like that. So now I'm going to go outside and give them just a light burn up to the beard, okay? On both of them, light burn, and then I'll pull the shade. So that's what I'm going to do next, light burn. Okay, so I got it lightly burnt, just like whatever, okay? Both of them all the way around. Oh, I signed it already on the inside. So I got this fresh can of uh, Royal Walnut, my favorite color. I'm gonna spread all this poly shade all the way around these pieces. Okay, so I got everything poly shaded. Um, faces aren't my favorite, but it is what it is because this is shitty wood and that's the way it is, but they're still cool. Okay, so now I gotta go deal with sanding off that sign. Okay, so there's a sign done, burnt. So what I'm going to do is get my little flap sander and just hit around these edges on each of the letters to give make it brighter and give it a little bit of a highlight. I just kind of do that, you know, your own style, guys. Find your own style. Okay, here you can see I got the sign prepped now. It's kind of that, you know, doing the little things outside there, highlighting it, it kind of makes it, give it the antique effect. I'm going to use the same uh, poly shade. What color is this? Royal Walnut. Okay. Okay, guys. So here's the sign all poly shaded. That's going to be hidden, so who gives a shit, right? Okay, so I'll let this dry. Now for the base, all I did was spray painted it black, shiny, because I didn't want to have to rebuild the base. So what I'm going to do is hit this with my flap sounder really quick and just kind of make it look scuffed up, kind of, uh, you know, like antique you know antiqued a bit you know what they say about us shitty carvers We've gotta make everything look antiqued well that's what I say anyways okay so that's all done I guess the last thing left to do is put it back together. So I guess I'll get it back together and then uh, once again, I'll be back. Ah, sometimes it just helps to have really good friends that bring you fresh Dungeness crabs over. Hey Lee, hey Lee, look at that. Oh yeah, Lee's on it. There it is guys. So that was the day's work. I'm glad it's done. Because like I said, I hate making signs. I'm not a fan. But whatever, you gotta challenge yourself and uh, eat crabs. Ah, that's what I'm gonna do. Enjoy the sign till it's gone and eat some crabs. Just likely. Hope everybody's good. Love to read the comments. Bye bye. Oh, Lee, look at this piece. A little scavenge, aren't you? Eye of the tiger, people. Eye of the tiger. She loves the crab. Yes, yeah, she does. Spoiled cat. <laughs>